Okay, so hey, um, I guess this is going to be for my twin flame. Um, I'm home. Um, uh, so, you know, I used to like to start my videos with, hey, it's TT Be More Twin Flame. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't always feel that vibe of, hey. Um, it's funny, though. Whenever my twin flame calls me, I usually feel that towards him. I'm always hyped to talk to him. Like, I'm always, he brings that out in me. I'm just like, I get, when, when I hear his voice, when he actually calls me. Now, when I think about talking to him, sometimes I can be like, oh, no, I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him or whatever. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, most of the time, no, all the time, as soon as I get on the phone with him, when he calls, I get this. So, I'm kind of, my face is flushed. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is red right here. I really don't feel good. I, um, I didn't take a COVID test, which is insane. I don't know why you have to have all these tests because you know when you have COVID. Trust me, you'll know when you have COVID. You'll feel like shit, the worst that you've ever felt. So I don't, I don't know why you have to do all these COVID tests. Um, because, you know, who wants to stick stuff up their nose and stuff like that? Like, I don't even know why you have to do shit like that. But, um, hey, miss, stop. So anyway, um, so on Sunday, which was my birthday, um, the person I spent the weekend with had COVID. And it's my neighbor and she came down um, and asked me to give her a COVID test and she had a home COVID test and I did and it was positive and so um, I was like oh well that explains why I'm feeling like total shit and I was feeling like total shit on Sunday and then Monday I felt like I I don't even want to re re remember it it was so freaking bad. Hey! Stop! What's the matter with you? Stop it! Come here. Hey! Behave. Behave yourself. Behave. Leave her alone. Good girl. Come on, Mama. My cat is attacking my daughter. Hey! stop so um <laughs> there she goes laying on her back now <laughs> you're a goofy girl love you such a pretty kitty god she's such a pretty cat um when i got her i wonder how much she weighed i'll have to look at her paperwork because when i got her I, I like i got her from baltimore county humane society i live in maryland i live in westminster and um and and um so you know i have the paperwork and she weighed a certain amount and i got her in um june i think it was <clears throat> and uh i swear she's doubled in weight I got her a little water fountain. She has her own water fountain and she has her own feeding trough. And um so she eats whenever she wants hard food. And um she is so fat. And she's so happy. Mama. Hey. So I don't know why she was attacking my daughter's legs. She's a she's ornery sometimes. Like she's they used, they called her bipolar. Her name is Colors. And she came to me in a dream. But she didn't show herself to me. I just knew there was a cat named Colors. Anyway, I feel like shit today. Not bad, just weird. So anyway, where was I? Um... 
so there's this thing. Um, so I don't know if I need to talk about COVID. I just have a headache. And today is a weird day. You know, everything is weird now. <laughs> First of all, my coloring is really weird. My face looks really flushed and weird. Mm. My sister just texted me. My sister is having a her yearly party this weekend. She has a once a year party and she has invited me in a weird way. It's totally non-personal. She invited me and everybody else through Facebook. And so it's not a personal invitation to me. Like it's a you know what I mean? It's a event on Facebook. So I don't drink at all and she does and so it is her family and it's a it's just a really in it's an environment that's not warm and personal to me so it's going to be really hard for me to go um my sister and i are not real personal if that makes sense um she's not like, um, when I was having trouble in my first marriage, um, I used to call my mom when me and my husband used to fight real bad. Um, it was every weekend I would, and he, my husband was the type that would be like, he wouldn't leave me alone. Once we started fighting, he would have to ground me into the carpet and he'd follow me around the house into the bathroom into like if I go into the bathroom to get away from him he'd be banging on the door if I go into the bedroom he'd come into the bedroom like he had to win in such a way that he was like stomping on my face so um I had little kids three little kids and so I used to call my mom and a lot of times I would take my kids and go to my mom's. She lived on, um, she had a house on the weekends, um, at on the Potomac river in Harper's Ferry. And I would take my kids and spend the weekend with her. So because my husband, when he was home, he was most likely miserable at the time. That was my first husband. He, he was a workaholic and, and what he I don't know he liked working all the time he didn't know what to do with himself when he was home and I'm not blaming him back then I didn't know how to process feelings I didn't I, I so I wasn't miss innocent but I'm just saying you know I don't know about innocent I don't want to judge myself either but I'm just saying I wasn't the person I am today um either so but I called my my mom was had cancer and um she was dying and um we were fighting really bad and um i couldn't go to my mom's and uh i couldn't even call my mom you know and so i called my sister right in the middle of a fight with my husband and i had three little kids and i called her in the middle of the fight and said for help and she said why are you calling me call the police no she said why are you calling me I can't help you call the police and I did and boom 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 every door open I, I called the police like she told me the police said file protective order I did what they told me I told my dad he said here's a divorce attorney I did everything that people told me and every step of the way everything opened boom 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 and we divorced so I'm just saying those emotions are not real good. So my sister has never said, hey, I would like to be closer to you. Could you come? Or she's never made an effort. So I guess I should just throw away going to that party because I don't drink. And nobody, I don't know. It's, it's a whole, anyway, I think I should just, I'm working through what I'm going to do. It's this Saturday. And she like I said, she's only invited me impersonally through Facebook and she lives five minutes from me. And I, I don't know. It's just, I wouldn't do, I might send out, if I was having a party, I might send out general invitations. I probably invite everybody personally myself. And so, yes, she's not me. I know that. And nobody else is me. I know that. I'm just saying I would like to be celebrated. 
I would, somebody said, um, there's a difference between being invited and being welcomed or wanted. And that's, I, like, she is not showing me any reason that I should come and come out of my comfort zone to try to create a relationship with her. So this is, um, her party at her house on her territory you know what I mean? And I would be totally out of my comfort zone. But there's something in me that wants to challenge that. So I don't know if that's just self-hate. <laughs> if that's just people-pleasing because this was my older sister. Um, if that's just wanting people in my life, I'm not invited to anything. I never have any social things to do ever. So, you know, I want to say, universe, I'll do the social things. So I don't know yet I haven't worked through it if I'm going or not I kind of would like to go for a few minutes just to because I was invited I want to go everywhere I'm invited I want to do things and not care what other people think of me and not try to prove myself to people so you know what I mean no expectations and no motives just do it because it, it could enrich my life it's better than sitting home and working one of the two. So, um, you know what I mean? Um, so however, let's see, what else do I want to talk about? My twin flame. Um, this is my twin flame channel, huh? which I, I don't, I have my vlog and then I have another channel that's about my readings. So I have three YouTube channels. Um, I haven't done readings in about a good week. Um, so, but, um, and my vlog, this is the weird thing about my vlog. It's a vlog. It's basically a journal. It, I created it for me as a journal for myself. And I have like 1600 followers that are men that are from other countries that don't speak English. So I don't understand that, but the universe gives me what I'm supposed to have. The law of attraction thing i totally believe in that my heart attracts everything to me oh see she loves you she wants you to love her she's partially your cat too or but hold on so um anyway so i attract things so i don't really understand that i have to kind of block the, the men on that video on that vlog because that it wasn't the intention of it was not to get male attention. It was to document my life and my struggles and my vulnerability. So I have to block their comments. They're all about how beautiful I am. And they, I did a video of me in my twin flames bathtub with the towel with covered up and they're like, could you do another? So I don't, I don't know how to handle that. Like I have to stay being myself. Um, so this is where I am with my twin flame. I don't know. Um, sometimes I talk to him. Sometimes I don't, um, you know, um, like he didn't call me yesterday. Um, it bothered me. I didn't really love that. He didn't want to talk to me all day. Um, but can you back away, please? I'm in the middle of something and I'm not going to stop. So I am going to focus on this. I can't pause it. This is important to me. So can you please remove yourself? Hit the AC on, please. And don't, you know. So um, uh, I know I, I wake up some. Thank you, sweetheart. I wake up sometimes doubting. Today I woke up. Let me know where you're going. Okay. Well, where are you going? Are you sure you're coming back in a few minutes? Oh. No, you can text me. My daughter's mad because I can't give her money and she couldn't wait until my video is over. Where I'm sitting is right by the door. I mean, she's 12. She... So whatever, this isn't about that. Um, I don't have money to give her all the time. So um, anyway, we're gonna keep moving cause that's another source. My twin flame is very strict with his kids and I am not. Um, I, um, I'm basically 
their support person, I'm their keeper, but I'm not their manager. I'm not their slave driver. I'm, I don't have a whip to my kids. Um, if I have the money, I will let them have money. If I don't have the money, they won't have the money. Um, and I like to know where they are. But other than that, I'm just here to help them and to support them and to guide them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have all these rules. Like, their behavior is a reflection of me. No, they are their own little people. And um, it's really nice to get that. I'm getting that. My two children that I live, you know, that I, that are under my roof, um, cause I have five, they barely go to school between the two of them. They go to school two or three times a week. Yeah. Um, but that's not my problem that their grade is going to reflect that. And they know that this, this is weird. It's, um, I fucked up this. I didn't fuck up this lash. It's not glued down the only end, right? So, um, you know what I mean? Um, they, they they know that their school is them. They're responsible for their schoolwork. They're responsible for their grades. Um, they're not going to get punished if they fail. If they fail, they fail. If they, um, get held back, they get held back. I'm still going to love them and believe in them, but it's their deal. So the consequences fall on them, which it does. Um, you know what I mean? So, um, it's weird to be free of that and to say that my, you know what I mean? That I'm there to support my kids, but I'm not there to, you know what I mean? Like most of the time I have food in the house and they have to make their own food. They're 12 and 14. Um, sometimes I cook. I mean, I try to cook, <coughs> but I'm just saying I'm not like that housewife that's like, <coughs> I have dirty dishes. I, like, you know what I mean? Um, but I love them and I, I support them. But they get the overflow of me. So my twin flame. Um, so anyway, about my twin flame journey. I woke up today um, not wanting to be vulnerable, hating vulnerability and thinking that I was really dumb for thinking that me and my twin flame were going to have a future together and we were going to be together someday. I don't know why I felt that way. Like I don't know. So um, I'm working through that. Um, my twin flame and I took a video of our sex. And it was my idea. I don't know if I've talked about it because when I do videos, I do a video and I don't think about it. I don't plan it. I don't script it. I just off the cuff tell you what's going on. So um, a few weeks ago, the last time I saw him, which was about three weeks ago, um, a couple days before that, spirit came to me, source. I use source energy. I seek source. Um, divine love unconditional love light that's what I seek that's what I have a relationship with the universe so a lot of times um, source communicates to me on my bed when I'm in a um, like twilight like um, that lucid state and um, so that's when it came to me to record our sex so I said hey I'm bringing my my phone pod you know my phone holder so when I got there, we hadn't seen each other in like a, like a month. And I hit, put it on, hit record, and, you know, so afterwards he wanted to watch, and I was so embarrassed, I had to put the pillow over my face. I, I thought I was going to vomit. I was so ashamed and so embarrassed. So um, since then, I've watched it. Um, I've sent it to him because he has to have it, and um, I have it, and he has it. And, um, I just watched it again last night and, um, it's an extremely vulnerable state for me because, um, physically I'm the biggest I've ever been in my life. I'm 262 pounds. Well, I was 258 a couple of days ago. Um, 
and the uh, anyway I wonder how he couldn't be attracted to me because I was raised to be skinny I was raised in a white environment with a narcissistic chauvinistic father that liked certain body shapes and gave that you know treated women a certain way Farrah Fawcett uh, whatever you know women were sex objects women were supposed to act and look a certain way and fat mm, no you might as well die if you're fat so I have extremely fat belly fat thighs like I can't see her my girl at all like she's down there somewhere I know um you know so it has been and I grew up that way I grew up where I was not able to eat burgers and milkshakes like I would almost vomit well I kind of would I would have all kinds of stomach issues I couldn't eat freely so um the past 10 years you know 15 years I've been big I've been 200 plus and um that is not that is not cool in the world that I live in in Westminster it's a it's not cool to my family my family that I'm in love with a black man a city black man not a loud black man afro white teeth big lip dark skin loud like what the fuck that my family is conservative and whatever the fuck right so a most anyway I'm not trying to get race I'm not racist at all I love the black community like but I love people I do real but what I love about the black community is I love real people real and I love that I can like I went to see Cat Williams Friday night and it was the best thing in my life I love going to um, black community events my god my god the best thing ever ever it is um, I love being around people that know how to dress and that have style I love being around thick women that don't feel bad about themselves I love being a queen oh my god it's a whole other world so yes that's where I fit that's my people that's my place Cat Williams is me I was at UMBC event center it was the best shit um, however Cat Williams he needed like it was it was he had eight other comedians and I thought it was all gonna be Cat Williams so I wasn't crazy about that but so you understand um, but I gotta just be me it's not about the color of your skin not at all it's about your soul it's about your style it's about your heart you know in life um, so I'm not really sure as far as going to my sister's thing because she's not she's not making me feel but in life you can't worry what people do you got to do it for yourself I got to feel warm towards myself I have to feel you know what I mean I want to go wherever I want to go and and I make it I make it I'm the star show I'm the universe my, I'm the Sun that revolves around you know I'm the center of my universe I don't need anybody else's approval so that's my sister and so I don't know it's really confusing for me I'm going back and forth on it so um anyway I'll figure it out and I'll do what's best for me so that's where I'm at um if that makes any sense if anything I said was any way coherent <laughs> I'm going to be vulnerable I'm going to believe in my twin flame and me I don't know what union looks like but I'm not giving up but I don't have expectations of the future and that it's supposed to look a certain way um, he says we're going to dinner for my birthday to the melting pot I cannot fucking wait um, I don't know what this is supposed to look like I just know 
that I deserve to be happy and I love him um, and I want to accept him as he is and I'm learning to love and accept myself so and I'm going to be vulnerable I'm going to be seen and I'm going to be heard so hey this is TTB more twin flame Love you guys, and actually I am going to do a tub video for my vlog next to keep those guys happy, just because um, I like looking sexy. I like looking sexy. And nobody else is looking at me in the tub, so my vlog has turned into that. <laughs> so I wanna be, I'm 54. I mean, oh my God, I'm 55. My birthday was Sunday. I'm 55. I am a big woman that's not very comfortable in her body. I don't think I have really big legs. Um, you know what I mean? But I'm going to learn to love me and want to be me um, and use what's around me, the tools that I've been given to love myself as I am for being me and not want to be anybody else. That is my goal is to love my life and myself so much that I don't want to be anybody else but me. So, ta-da! It's me. Love you guys so much. Hang in there. This journey, this twin flame journey is wild. And yes, I have my eyes look too totally different, but these are blue lashes and they're a little bit different and I, I, I'm not taking them off because they took me all day to break in. So they're staying the hell on. I mean, I think anyway, the size really bugging me, but, um, yeah, probably just, I like lashes, but anyway, love you guys. Mwah, mwah. Like subscribe, share my videos. Okay. See ya. I don't want to be ya. I want to be me. I want to be me. I want to be me. I love being me. I can only be me.